Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I got um, at a couple different places that I went to and an event that I went to. So here's just kind of a broad <clears throat> spread of everything I got and I'm just going to shove some things aside so I can kind of start in order a little bit. <laughs> um, so the first place that I went to yesterday was the Sunshine Postcard Club. It's a postcard ephemera show and sale um, for all things paper related here. Well, not here, over in Tampa. I live on the East Coast and Tampa's on the West Coast of Florida, but I just want to quickly show some of the things that I got. I didn't spend too much money there. Um, I found these vintage pretty little tickets. Um, they were only 25 cents each, so I just went ahead and picked up four. And then I found these really beautiful floral textured postcards that I just thought were really, really, really pretty. So I've got a bunch of pen pals who are flower lovers, so I think most of them are written on in the back in this really pretty purple ink. Um, no stamps, though. So I think the year says 1914, 1918. So these are pretty darn old. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then I got some more here. I have this Japanese postage one that I just thought was really pretty and I just loved their little, their version of Mr. Zip. Um, so I grabbed that one, and then this one was really cool, um, Pharrell's Ice Cream Parlor and Restaurant. Um, I just like the look of it. And then of course I got this one with some wooden office stamps. This one with a cool um, typewriter. And it was actually mailed, so that's really cool. And then this one is an old tram car with the Newcastle Brown Ale advertisement on it. So I thought that was cool. I think you're meant to cut these out and make it, but I just like the look of it, so I kept it just for the look. And then these next couple ones I picked up because of their awesome airmail decals on them. So this was really cool. And then that one, this one, this one was ripped in half, but I still really liked it. And then this one, and they all have stamps on them too. Um, the opposite sides, there's nothing super spectacular about them. I just really liked the, um, the airmail stamps on the back. And then I got these. This is the US Air Posted, or Air, the open air post office in St. Petersburg. It's really popular. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed a couple Valentine's Day cards, which I thought was really cool. I got four of those. And then I got an Easter one because Easter is coming up. And then I really love these floral, they look hand painted. Um, postcards. I, I have a ton of these, um, but this particular one really struck me, so I grabbed that while I was there. So yeah, that was the things that I got from the postcard, and I was actually invited by uh, one of my pen pals, Heather, who um, lives over on that side of Florida, and she invited me, and so I took the opportunity to go, um, but I started feeling unwell, so I kind of had to move along a little quicker than I was anticipating. So um, I went to go get some food to try to make myself feel a little bit better. And then uh, my other pen pal, Rosie, um, and I went to a few different places. So I think the next place that we went to was the Paper Seahorse, which is where um, I grabbed where I located this Midori stamped black insert and if you've been following me for a while or you know that I wanted a black um, cover but I didn't want to get one that wasn't Midori I don't know why I was I just had a hang up over it um, so this one looks 
super old and aged. It almost looks like it's got wax on it. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen an unboxing. Let's see if it even shows up on this screen. Look at that. So um, hopefully handling it well. You can see all the, the fingerprints and stuff on here. I don't know if it's coming up on screen, but I can see it. And it, it's on the inside as well. This is bizarre. Um, but yeah, I wanted a black one that was stamped with the Midori. I don't know why I did, but I did. So I located one and acquired it. So I'm just going to move all of this aside. And then after the Paper Seahorse, we went to Whimsadoodle. But before I do that haul, I want to show some of the things that Rosie gave me. Um, she found this really pretty stamp washi. I'm going to try to open it really quick here. It's definitely a Japanese brand. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. I'll hold it up in a second. Um, but I want to show this. How pretty is that? I can hear my little one screaming for me, looking for me. If you watched my last video. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> he's he's going to come looking for me in a minute. Um, and this really pretty, I just want to make sure I'm in frame. I'm kind of over, but um, this really pretty wooden stamp. It's a special delivery. I think this is new from, um, yeah, Nico Neko Zakai, Zak, Zakaya? I don't know. <laughs> I've ordered from this store before, but I can't pronounce it. Um, so I was really excited to have this because I have been eyeing this one for a, um, about a week now. Um, so she surprised me with that. I hope you guys can hear Emmett screaming for me. <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> um, and then she also found this really beautiful um, fountain pen by Tools to Live By. Um, and it's their, it's the Le Chat, but it's um, a cat. Uh, branding. Um, it's super heavy. It's a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Um, it's gorgeous. I love the way it feels. But I don't know if you can see on the nib here. There's like a little kitty cat face. I hope you can see that. Um, and I'm pretty sure they take the Cleco um, cartridges so that's really exciting so I'm just gonna press this in here and get that inked up and maybe by the end of this video I'll be able to give you guys a test of how that writes and then she also got me these tiny little playing cards from when she went on a work trip um, and she, she suggested using them for um, single washi tape samples which I thought was very clever um, so I will be doing that that's really really smart I'm excited to to do that so those were the sweet things that Rosie gifted to me. Um, I'm very grateful. That girl spoils me to death, I swear. Um, and Heather, who I met up with at the Postcard Club, also gave me a really beautiful gift, but it's kind of private, and I want to um, kind of keep that private. Um, but it was really beautiful, and I'm thankful for that. And Heather, if you're watching, thank you very much. It was very special. Um, so I'm just going to move that. Okay, so... Onto the Whimsadoodle haul. I found these beautiful, I hope I'm in frame, these beautiful stickers by the American Tag Company. And I actually got something else from that company as well, these vintage looking tags. So these are going to be fun to play with. I'm really excited about those. I got a bunch of these because they're amazing. Um, so yeah, excited about that. And then we found a, a lot of the store was 50% off. So we found these really cool wooden stamps that were half off. I'm really excited about this one. And this has got like a rotodial for a telephone. I got three of these earth tones in the Memento inks. I love these. I don't have very many of them. Um, they're my favorite ink pads. So I just grabbed three earth tones while I was there. I picked up this Kiritaki. Um, brush pen. Rosie said that she had it and she really liked it. So let's give it a 
a little try. I was trying to ask if the nib was soft or hard. I tend to like a harder nib. So let's see. It kind of feels just like the Tombow. That's really nice. I like the way it feels too. It's round instead of, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it just feels nice. <laughs> and the price was good on it. So um, I grabbed that while I was there. And then they also had the, um, a bunch of wax seals that I hadn't seen before. Um, so I grabbed this small one and it's in a compass design. I don't have a compass design and I actually had one that looked like this with my um, initial on it and I've lost it somewhere in my craft room. If you could see the state of this place, you would understand. Um, um, so when I saw this style, I was, I just grabbed it cause I don't have a compass and I liked it and I like the size, it's smaller. So um, yeah, that was really a good find. And um, I got some Rifle Paper Company stuff. So I got more of these Valentine's Day postcards because I had quite a few, few people message me um, who I'm already like sending stuff to that I wasn't originally intending on sending a Valentine to. So I just grabbed up 10 more for some um, people. And then I got this really beautiful Florida um, card that I think I'm going to turn into either a writing board or um, a dashboard, just laminate the whole thing um, and use it in one of my notebooks. So we'll see. I'm really excited about that because Rifle Paper Co. does a lot of these um, local designs for like all areas. Uh, so wherever you are, I'm sure you could find a design that they've designed um, in your area, if you're in the States, I don't know if they go over to, um, international, but anyway, so that was a ramble. <laughs> um, they also had the 2017 Pan Am stickers. They didn't have the 2016 ones, which I'm on the hunt for, um, desperately. Um, but they did have the 2017. So I just grabbed up another pack of those probably to hoard. We'll see. I was going to grab another one of the 2018, but I just don't love them. Like I love the Pan Am ones. So I can get those again if I change my mind. Um, and they had the Traveler's Times there. So I just grabbed this. I don't know if I have this. I think I have this one already, but I grabbed it anyway because they had a bunch there. So super excited about this. This is always just so beautiful. Um, it's not the English version, but that's fine. Um, I grabbed up a passport in the black as well. So the reason that I, I got so much is because Whimsa Doodle has a points card and it, once you get like 200 points, you get 20% off of your entire purchase. And I had acquired enough points to get 20% off of my purchase. So I was just thinking while I was there, I had 20% off. I'll just, you know, grab a passport um, black, which I've been kind of wanting. Um, so I just picked it up while I was there. And man, oh man, is this totally different than the Midori one. This just feels so totally different. This one must be years and years old compared to this. I hope it's showing up on screen how different it is. I mean, I will obviously love them exactly the same, but yeah, totally different. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to use this one as my wallet. I've been using my camel as a wallet for a while now, for about two years. And I think I'm going to use this one as my wallet and use the camel to keep track of my incoming mail, which I showed that in my last video or second to last video, I think. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then the last things I purchased were some 12 by 12 papers. Like I said, most of the store was on sale and I have my receipt here. I'll show you in just a second, but, um, I picked up this really cool vintage Disney ticket, um, paper from Authentique. Um, the collection is from Pastime and this sheet of paper is called Pastime One. Um, and this is the back. And then this is from Oasis from Crate Paper. I love this postage and this ledger form. 
So usually I use these 12 by 12 pap um, papers to cover my traveler's notebooks with. Um, so that's what I'm going to use these papers for. This is from Chasing Dreams. I just love the peacocks because I love peacocks. And then I grabbed this from Carousel. I love all these labels. I'm a label fanatic. And then I grabbed this. I hope the glare isn't picking it up. Um, but these are, this is from Carousel as well. Let me take it out. And um, it's an entire sheet of tickets. But if you look closely, the paper is perforated. And um, yeah, I just really love this. I bought two of these and I actually have already perforated and cut apart the first one. Um, so I was really excited about this and there's gold foil on it and I like the colors. So yeah, that'll be fun. So yeah, I think that is it. Um, I kind of went crazy getting the Traveler's Notebook, but... Um, with the 20% off, you can't really you can't really go wrong with that. So, yeah, I'm excited about all of the purchases and the lovely gifts that I got. I was really spoiled by these two lovely ladies. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And um, I will try to link the shop's information below. Um, everything I'll try to link below so you guys can... Um, get an idea of where these places are if you're in Florida and want to come visit um, I think all of them have online stores Whimsa Doodle doesn't but the Paper Seahorse does um, and if you're in Florida if you want to come to the Sunshine Postcard Club the next one is in April so I'll link all this below but thank you for watching I'm sorry it's another haul video but I'm sure a lot of you love seeing these kinds of things um, oh here's the receipt and you can see all of the red. So 50, 50, 20, 20, 20, all the way down, and then 50 for the rest. So this stamp was like two bucks, 250. <laughs> you can't beat that. So yeah, oh, and let's test this pen. Let's see if I've got ink to the nib yet. Not yet. Yep, it's got to wait for a little bit longer. So, yeah, um, if you're not a subscriber, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Until next time, guys, bye.